So I am officially recording. Uh, let's see. All right. uh, unfortunately, your audio uh, won't be on uh, your side. Are you uh, in the server? Yeah. All yeah. right. Let me. Uh... Oh, shit. Did we get a friend request or anything? Seems like uh, this. The uh, here we go. Yeah, I sent you a friend yeah. request. For you. Thank God, good smart man. All right, so let me see. Let me look you up. There you are. So now let me invite you to party. All right. All right, so once you're in party, I'm going to go to channels. I'm going to make sure that my chat is set for party. How do you do that? Uh, well, first, before you do that, are you on my server? No. Hold on. Channels, global. Let's see. Both of our names are at the fucking bottom, of course. <laughs> All right, no, you're not. All right, uh, do, 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 do. let's see. Friends, did I send? We're in a party. Okay, so I'm the party leader. So the easiest way would be for you to exit out to load in uh, the home screen. Okay. <clears throat> Once you're on the home screen, you'll have a new option. And the upper right hand corner ish, uh, which will be well, you'll see our party up there, and there should be a little bracket in there somewhere that says join leader. Yeah. Mm hmm Just logging in now. Sir. Now chat. Um what we're going to do is I'm going to get him set up so he could type some responses in his own chat for video purposes. Um, obviously, you guys won't be able to hear what he's saying um, because technology is kind of screwed up right now. Still trying to work out the ins and outs. This is part two to the dreaded Pirate Roberts. All right. Let me know when you're on... Uh, server there yep i'm on now perfect so now i want you to hit f11 i believe it is to bring up comms uh nothing's happened oh uh, nothing's happening when I hit f11. uh f12 and then 11. okay all right so now you have comms global chat Okay, so over in the upper left-hand corner, you see where it says channels? Yeah. Click on party. Perfect. All right, so just type, uh, all right, say so hello in there. All right, so now we're going back out of that screen. Right. Oh, it's showing everything. Why is it showing everything? It should be just party chat. I have a switch to party. Uh, maybe I gotta shut global off. Uh, shut that off. There we go. And this is on, right? Yeah. Okay. So now, if I go, should be just party. No. Ha. Huh. So Your zone chat's kind of booked. Okay, so type hello again because I don't see you in chat. I saw you on the, the back screen. Yeah, okay, so you come up as a different color. So let me uh, respond so you can see. So just meshing, you know, with the rest of the shit. But you can see how it's a different color. Uh, no, so it's weird. It's not showing me. It's not showing me any messages at all. Oh, wait. 
Why am I... Oh, because for whatever reason, I mean global. Hold on, give me a second. Let me try this again, because you should be in party. For whatever reason, again, technology is... No, 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 on the home screen. So leave... Yeah, don't go into the actual party screen. So you'd be in zone chat, and then if you're just in a regular thing moving around and you hit enter... Uh, can you freaking type there? Does that put it in zone chat or does that put it in party chat? Let's see. Here. So when I just go to the regular screen, like exit all yeah. menus and stuff and then hit enter and you'll see the bracket open up on the left hand side. Yeah. You could just type in there and that just should go to global or party or, Oh, that's right. Games like frozen, man. Oh, shit, mine too. Yeah, it's weird. Nah, we just 30K'd out. I just go to menu and then go back. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Hit enter again. I'm an idiot. Oh. Yeah, it did nothing. It's still frozen. Hold on. Yeah, you got to get rid of the bracket. So you got to hit uh, enter again. Uh, to get rid of the, the chat bracket over on the left-hand corner, and then you should be able to move. All right. Got it? No. No, it didn't do anything. I just, I'm going to reload quick. I think it, I was fucking with something. The screen's like blank, but okay. Welcome to Star Citizen. So now, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now it's, I said hi, but I'm in global again. Mm-hmm. Okay, so hit enter. Wait, wait, wait. You can't do it from that screen. I remember that's yeah. All right, so hit enter, and then I think it's uh, shift. Nope, tab. Yeah. So when you hit enter and you hit tab, it should switch between direct message, global, and party. It's a little laggy. So. I have it selected under party. Okay. There we go. And okay, so I, ah, there we go. There we go. Perfect. So now when you're typing, only me and you are going to see it. I mean, we'll still be able to see uh, global chat, but what we're talking about they won't see. Not that it really fucking matters. Like, I should be doing it publicly. But what I was trying to do is eliminate global chat altogether. Uh, so there was less... Uh, somebody's asking you. How's it going? Oh. There we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow, somebody remembered you. Yeah, I know. Ah. That's awesome. All right, so now <laughs> that we are officially recording, everything's up and running, we know how to switch chats, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Um, you're <laughs> you're over at New Babbage? Yeah. All right, so I got to come pick you up real quick um and then we gotta head over to lordville well first you gotta adhere to the agreement and show me your ships list that's why i'm coming to you instead of making you come yeah. to me because if you're actually a bob then coming to me could actually potentially be a pain in the ass so welcome 
Uh, yeah, now all my audio is coming through my TV. God damn it. Whatever. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Please visit us again. Ah, fuck. Well. All right. So. Sorry, I can't chew gum sometimes and walk. So when I get, you know, moving, I get quiet. I'm trying to get the hell out of of here. So basically, uh, I was talking to you a little bit off screen uh, about, you know, what, uh, what I was thinking about doing a little bit. And uh, you're in the Dread Pirate series, which is basically the second half of my salvaging uh, series on YouTube, uh, which is the same exact name as my Discord, which is the same name as my in-game name. So it's real fucking easy to find. (laughs) Real easy. And I don't have one of those severely complicated... You know, X, Y, Z, A, B, D, up, down, left, right, names either. It's pretty straightforward. Tracer 69, 69. Uh, So, one of the things uh, about this game is the community, for the most part, is an amazing community. Right? Uh, You said day two and somebody already just snatched you up and is throwing shit at you. That's what the community is. Uh, it's, I'm not just one person, uh, that's like this, uh, for, for the most part, the, the community itself is like this. Um, when I first came into the game, uh, day two, uh, day two in the game. No, it wasn't day two. It was like day three in the game. Somebody bought me my first big ship, which was the Constellation Andromeda. Uh, just because I really, it was one of the reasons why I joined Star Citizen was that ship, uh, Constellation Andromeda. But at the same time, uh, he didn't want anything in return. And I'm like, well, how do I pay you back? Cause I'm pretty sure that after this little interaction, like I won't see you again for a while. He's like, oh, you'll wind up paying me back. I'm like, how's that? He's like, well, you'll be in a position later to uh, hook up a, a fellow new player and it wasn't shortly after that probably about two weeks after that somebody else hooked me up with uh, a reclaimer uh, I joined up with some really cool people uh, and they got me a reclaimer and with that reclaimer I was able to buy literally every ship in the game uh within two months not even about a month and a half of, of grinding right and after that uh i'm like all right well now i own everything what do i do all right so what's my gameplay now so now my gameplay is um the dreaded pirate roberts right i steal from the rich kind of like robin hood and i give give to the poor now this does several different things right one it puts a really good taste in somebody's mouth two it makes for pretty decent content and three uh it gives me something to do you know what i mean because i'm out grinding and stuff you know so if putting a smile on somebody else's face is what you know i enjoy doing man so be it you know what i mean like and that's the way i am like if i could help somebody else out uh you know and the ship that i'm buying you is going to give you an advantage but it's not going to give you an advantage over the game as a whole uh which what i mean is like all right for example i'm not giving you a massive money making ship right that's out the window right because that just stops you from playing the game and learning the game right Mm. so 
well, yeah, it's like if I gave you a multi-million dollar ship that was a money-making beast, right? You would you get either a bored with the game, uh, really quick, right? Or it would just stop you from learning the other aspects of the game. You just start focusing on that, and you won't find your niche, so to speak. You see where I'm going? Yeah. All right. So that being said, uh, depending on usually the person depends on what kind of ship I uh, honest, honestly am willing to buy for people. For the most part, uh, I buy people the Cuddy Red, the Cutlass, Drake Cutlass Red. Uh, you're over in New Babbage. Yeah. So. Let's come pick you up. All right, start making your way up towards the terminals or whatever. I mean, I'm getting ready to quantum out there here in a second. I do have upgraded shit, so it won't take me 20 fucking minutes to get across. Take, still, But it will still take me about five minutes to get out there, five minutes to dock. So you're still looking at like a 10-minute wait. Oh, which reminds me, if you uh, need to piss or top off any drinks, beverages, uh, quantum drive is a good time to do that, depending but I'm going to actually, I'm going to go above and beyond the call of duty today. And I'm, we're actually going to buy you a ship real quick. And then we're going to head over to another location uh, before you even buy the, before you even call the ship out. And we're going to buy some of the upgraded components for the ship. The sh awesome. Thank you. The, that way uh, you can zip around the verse hella quick. Right. I mean, hella quick. It will get you from furthest destination to furthest destination, probably within five, six minutes tops, which is a third of what it would normally take you. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Thank you. I'm uh, just trying to find. You're looking for the terminals. Where? Yeah. So I'm going to take the elevator back down to the lobby, I guess. Oh, you got to take a train station to the hangars uh yes okay perfect all right i'm going down to the train. yeah i'm already about halfway there little perfect. little less than halfway <laughs> all right so what I do basically is I go out on the reclaimer. Uh, if you like, uh, I could actually, once we're done fucking around, I don't know how long you have invested into the game today or whatever, what your day looks like. But there is a bunch of interesting shit that will be transpiring today if you want to partake. Uh, examples, well, one, you're actually partaking in my little social experiment that I'm doing right now. You've already agreed to be on online. Uh, you've already agreed to my terms of service, uh, so we're already moving forward with that. The other thing is, is I have a meeting uh, sometime today with the organization that I was telling you about uh, to try to upscale this exact operation uh, to the next level, which is, again, uh, orchestrated in my YouTube channel in uh, two salvaging missions. Well, the shorter of the two, the hour long one, uh, basically. And what that one does is showcase an entire operation from start to finish. So from takeoff to selling uh, final product, that's an hour. Uh, so you could roughly make a mil an hour uh, if you just went out and just broke one hammerhead and came back. So that's a mil an hour you could bang out. Uh, and yeah. that, yeah, so that entire operation is actually in showcased on my YouTube channel, uh, which is uh, under Tracer6969, and the title of the video is uh, The Makings of an Operation. Salvaging, Star, yeah. Star Citizen Salvaging, Makings of an Operation. Uh, this one is going to be under a series called the Dread Pirate series. So after I go out and I do a bunch of reclaimer missions, basically I watch zone chat. And usually I wait for somebody to, you know, well, I can't actually 
I'm not going to say what I wait for because then people, will, you know, eventually, you know, once I get big or whatever the case might be, they'll exploit that. So I'm not going to say what it is that I look out for. Like, yeah, I'm going to cover my ass on that. But I do look out for certain things. And if I see, you know, somebody in trouble, for example, or I see somebody that just got cheesed the hell out by the game, you know, and they're all depressed and you could tell, you know, who's genuine and who's not. You know what I mean? And then you have yeah. funky things like Discord to sit there and kind of feel them out, you know? And if they're genuine, you know, and somebody helped you out, well, help somebody else out. And, um, so, like I said, I actually have uh, a meeting sometime today, uh, hopefully with the organization to make salvage uh, an actual operation. You know, have multiple roles, multiple ships, all focus on the same common goal. Like I have it meticulously thought out, but I don't have the manpower to make it happen. Uh, so I had to join an org. Now, out of all the orgs that are out there, most of the orgs are focused on PvP. This particular org is more going to be more focused on operations, like full-fledged operations, whether it's cargo hauling. Whether it's mining, whether it's shipping and receiving, whether it's, uh, you know, personal passenger transport or salvaging, uh, even medical uh, services uh, they want to get into, uh, become, well, they're not get into, they are already into uh, becoming medical professionals and yada, yada, yada. So they're already highly established the, the only problem they were lacking was somebody with the enthusiasm to set up something to the degree that i i had thought out you know the uh like i was kind of vaguely telling you real quick the operation that i have and the whole dread pirate thing you know what i mean um yeah so yeah i know they're really psyched about that because that will bring uh, a different play style to the game because right now let's face it the play style of the game is pvp all right pirating there's many videos out there of people being douchebags and being pirates and yada 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 shit that might even been one of the reasons there are one of the things that lured you into the game but there's already a lot of that going on so what i'm trying to focus on is the other shit that the game offers that everybody takes for granted you know what I mean? Like salvaging, you know, you could turn salvaging into the, say like, uh, you know, a six ship operation, you know, a command ship, two mini vultures to go out ahead of schedule, a medical, uh, medical ship for, you know, obvious reasons, a command ship, a giant vol, uh, a giant salvage. And worst case scenario, you bring a freaking huge ass hauler to all the haul all the bullshit, right? Now everybody's got a role, everybody's got a ship, and you're not just bringing useless shit that serves no purpose. Everything that's being brought serves a purpose, you know? And you got fuelers, so, you you know, if fuel is an issue, which right now is really not that big an issue. All right, I'm floating above the port. I'm getting ready to land here soon. I'll tell you what, hangar. Uh, once I figure that out, I should be able to land here. Yeah, I don't see any hangers big enough for this bitch. Uh, I am pretty high up. Yo, let me see if I can call them. Oh, it says I can land. Yeah, but where? Oh, maybe I gotta get closer. Yeah, flying out here is a little wonky all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Ships all over the place. Now, where the hell is my hangar? <sighs> I don't have a hangar marker. All right, let me try to call these bastards again. Oh, shit, I'm going down. Did it tell you what hangar you're going to? Oh, yeah. I got it. It's over there. 
wait, so I'm, what? I'm landing on that? Bro, that's dope. I didn't think I would be landing on that. Yeah, it was like this spire thing. So I, have, I haven't been out in this area much. So this is kind of a new docking experience, not going to lie. So basically there's like these huge fucking spires out here. Oh, my. Uh, and it's going to make me land in the top of one of the spires. That's kind of interesting. So it won't have you. Damn it. Um, huh? Now there's like a big, oh, what I mean by that is like, there's these uh, two buildings that are huge towers, basically. And I guess at the top of them, there's landing bays. Uh, it's making me land in that instead of in the main building down where you're at. Because I can see your marker. If you look around, you should be able to see a blue marker of me. Um, yeah. Oh, the wind out here is horrible. Oh, I'm going to have to do this quick. Oh, my God. I'm getting blown all over the place. And I'm in a big-ass bitch of a fucking ship. I got it, I think. Goddamn wind. And now I can't see because now all of a sudden freaking snow came in. You know? So now like the visibility is zero. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, am I lagging now? Come on, game. You could do it. It wants to cheese me out so bad. See, I'm lucky I'm recording. See, I'm showcase, <laughs> start showcasing this shit. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It won't let me land. Uh, what the fuck is going on? My landing gear is down. Let me know. Let's just park this bitch. Yeah, it's wonky as hell out here, bro. This hangar is so tight, like virgin tight. Damn. Yo, I'm like hitting all four walls. This is ridiculous. All right. What hangar am I at? Uh. All right. Oh, come on, game. Really? Shit's just acting all fucked up now. I don't know what's going on. It's because I'm trying to... No worries. I'm trying to see what hangar... All right, let me just go to the terminal. I'll meet you at the door. Hold on, because... Yeah, no worries. There's supposed to be a sign That's over here. Right. I'm right where all the terminals are and the elevators to go to the hangars. Yeah, I just got to figure out what fucking hangar I'm at. It means I got to completely exit my ship just to see. Oh, I'm an idiot. <sighs> yeah. So then, uh, I don't know, between now and meeting up with uh, those guys after I'm done with you or buying this ship and getting the ship set up and, you know, checking out the ship and yada, 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 which that's going to take a, a little bit. Thankfully, uh, I came in a fast ship or, yeah pretty damn fast ship so zipping around the, the verse to get the shit that you need is going to be relatively quick uh, thank you alright I don't know what fucking hangar 20 oh I don't see that option I got 1 through 5 
No, keep scrolling down. Okay, you can scroll. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. And you're 20. There we go. All right. Yeah, we got a we got a work cut out for you. What? Uh, yeah, I'm compensating for for stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look how big she is. She really is. This is one of my favorite ships, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I love this fucking ship. Yo, this is this ship right here is literally the reason why I got Star Citizen. Like, uh, if you ever seen the old Mel Brooks movie Spaceballs, this is literally Spaceballs one. Like, every time I'm up in the cockpit, I'm like, ludicrous speed, go! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, she's my favorite ship. All right, let's climb aboard. Now, she is a little wonky. Uh, so we'll use the elevator in the back. Uh, it's bigger. It's a little bit more walking, but that's fine. Okay. This is the only entrance in. This is a, the, the, the big downfall of the ship right here is this fucking nightmare of a door. All right. So... Welcome to uh, my ship, sir. This is Valhalla. <sighs> this is my command ship. It's where I run operations out of, for obvious reasons. It's a pretty decent sized ship. Now, we passed uh, the quickest way up, which is the other elevator, but uh, it's kind of tight in there. And if you mesh up against people, uh, in this game, you have a potential of causing damage. Speaking of which, how's your hydration? 87%. Alright. Uh, I did buy some drinks that I could use. Well, we actually have uh, at our disposal... Uh, a med portable med bed. Oh. Yeah, right here. Now this one is actually a really good med bed because uh, I could actually spawn on this one. Now, the ship that we're going to buy you right now also comes with a med bed, but it's a much smaller ship and you can't spawn on the bed. But uh, you can heal pretty much all wounds and it's a portable hydration station so you won't have to worry about uh food and drink uh at nowhere near as nice. much awesome although food and drink does work obviously better than running into the med sta station because think about it the med station doesn't actually satisfy your your hydration it just raises you back to zero stat so for example like if you're already massively hydrated it didn't rehydrate you it just reset you back to so if you're still massively dehydrated your hydration meter is going to drop hella fast so if the only thing you do is jump in a med bed you'll watch your hydration eventually your hydration meter and your food meter will just plummet as soon as you get out of the bed like it's ridiculous so you do have to eat and drink, uh, but with the med beds, a lot less often. Okay. All right. So first things first, let's get the fuck out of here. So, like I said, oh, you can hit F four if you're in the seat to switch views. Uh, so if you do that and you zoom around, you can see how tight this goddamn hangar is. Like it's real, right. real fucking tight. Oh Jesus! Yep. 
Yeah, my ass is like rubbing up against the back. My nose is about to hit the front wall. Not to mention we have like this massive storm coming in right now. So as soon as I leave here, it's going to probably blast me all over the fucking place. That reminds me, we need to change your spawn location. Get the hell out of here. All right, let's see. Uh, bring you over to Bajini Point when we're done. That's a real good Bob location. All right, let's get out of here. Let's put control. Let's put my veto. And let's get the fuck out of here. Let me switch my view to fourth. And hopefully we don't die. <laughs> Oh, already touching. Yeah, of course. And the wind. Come on. Climb, climb, climb. You suck. Wait, what the hell? Oh. That was weird. Yeah, it just <laughs> it just froze up on me. I'm like and it shows the rear doors open or front doors open. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh. Should technically be... Yeah, it's a visual glitch. Uh, okay. Now it should be opening now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. All right, let me, let me close it. Close! Oh, oh God. <clears throat> All right, well, I'm watching it from the side. Well, the top's closing. That's good. <laughs> I think the front's got to finish opening before it closes. Mm. Uh, yeah. But there it goes. All right. Uh, okay, yep. All right, let's climb. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's put my landing gear away. Kind of screwed up because my audio is coming through the TV now. So, mm. kind of a little disorientated. All right, so now we got to go to my home, home base, which is where I came from to pick you up, which is Lorville. So, let's get out of app mode quick. Perfect. All right, now uh, we'll let it just coast while I'm looking for final destination number two. So we got to go to Hurston, Lorville. All right. Uh, I should have, oh uh, yeah, well that meant I would have had to go inside. I could always do it over here though, so it's not that big a deal. Remind me that I still have to look at your computer terminal. Yeah, no worries. I'd be a little upset if I, you know, that's one of my terms and I forget it. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> Oh god! That whatever ship. If when I bought the game, you had two options, mm. and I took the yeah higher one, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it probably started. There's there's ways around that. Um, you didn't have to pick the Aurora, or I think the other one was what the Hundred Eye. Yeah. Um, if you took the Hundred Eye, that's actually a really good thing. Uh, that was smart. Uh, and the reason for that is, is the 100i could be spawned on moon bases. Uh, so, like, if you're flying a big ship and somebody steals your ship, you could actually spawn the 100i on a moon so you could get back off the moon. Otherwise, you would have to uh, 
backspace out. So if you have a hundred eye, that is a really good tactical move. Plus the inside is just sexy compared to the Aurora. The Aurora is shit. Right. Yeah, I'm not sure. I can't remember which one. It was whatever one was the higher up, higher end one. It's like sixty bucks. Yeah. Was it or it was it fifty bucks? Because then I don't know. You might have. When I uh, joined, they gave me the option between the Aurora and the Hundred Eye. The Aurora was like a forty-five dollar option, and the Hundred Eye was like a sixty dollar option. Oh no, the Three Hundred Eye was a sixty dollar option. So I think the Hundred Eye would be like fifty something. I have to check. Oh yeah, I'll have to check in the terminal. I was only in it once for the little tutorial. Yeah, we'll see here in a minute, in a couple minutes. We're almost halfway there already. Nice. <laughs> yeah, for a big bitch, uh, she uh, she moves. Of course, now I got to repair the whole front end of it. Yeah, my whole front end's red. Uh, so you haven't experienced flying. None of that noise. Nope. Well, good. It's uh, I'm gonna get you squared away. Um, save you a lot of headaches. Uh, first things first is uh, we're gonna get this ship here. Uh, we're gonna spawn it in. Uh, so you could uh, see what you just bought. Uh. We're not going to utilize it because it's, it's not upgraded yet. So it'll take forever to get to the next location, which is where your upgrade is, uh, which is over in Orison, which is another major city. Uh, so we went from one major city to this major city, from this major city to another major city. And then <clears throat> your final decimation will be the last major city. So you'll kind of see all four major cities in this 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 loop here. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you won't actually see Area 18 unless I go down to it, but I'm going to bring you to Virginia Point, which is directly above Area 18. Uh, so you can use one of your smaller ships to fly down to Area 18, but when you get, you know, some of the bigger ships, you might want to leave them out in space, you know, so you ain't got to fight gravity and wind and all that shit with some of the bigger ships. Like I did, right. like I just did, but I like the pain, so let's do it. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so uh, welcome to Star Citizen, man. Uh, Thank you. Freaking, like I said, I'm trying to change the way the game is played because a lot of the gameplay right now, I don't know what your game play style is. Uh, but a lot of the gameplay style is, you know, PvP orientated, which is, you know, good and all. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, the game offers so many other more options, you know, just to be focusing on PvP. Um, you yeah, know, like for I, sure. like I said, the Armada play style. You know, flying around in big ships like this one. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, you don't see it too often. You really don't. You really don't, unless you have people like me uh, doing stupid shit like I'm doing right now. You won't see the bigger ships and shit that much. The majority of what you're going to see out here is all the small fighter, nimbly, bimbly bullshits. Right. Yeah, which kind of sucks. I want to see big ass yeah. carricks and fuelers and everything else. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you could walk all the way up to the front and we're out of quantum now, so you could go all the way up there. Damn. That's freaking neat. Yeah, I love this ship, bro. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Fuck. All right, you know what? We're gonna do. We're gonna do something even 
more different. I think I'm really gonna fucking spoil you here. Yeah. All right. So answer me this: What's your play style? Like, uh, you a you a PV murder hornet? Uh, you a grinder? Uh, you're an explorer? I want to explore. I want to check out more of the PVE portion of this game. All right. Um, so PvP's okay, but it's not my like favorite thing in the world. Okay. So I'm going to give you an option, which I'm not giving anybody else. Now, be careful of what you choose, though. Okay. I'm going to give you yeah. your choice of two different ships. All right, the one, the first one is the Cuddy Red. Uh, Cuddy Red is good because it's, uh, it's a nimble ship. It's fairly decent size, nowhere near this, this big bitch. Um, but it's fairly decent size. Uh, you can't fit too many other, like, things in it because it's a medical uh, bed that has two medical uh things in it which gives you advantage so when you start grinding for you know bunkers and armors and stupid shit like that you'll have access to a med bed right in the back but at the same token if you have your tactical and you utilize the medical supplies that are utilized in the game uh the med bed might not necessarily be uh, a crucial thing uh, you know what I mean? So you might be able to sacrifice the med bed and go for option two. The option two is, uh, the Constellation Phoenix. Now, out of the two, I would personally pick the Phoenix. Now, I think here... Which doesn't have the med bed, but it comes with so much other better shit. Uh, first of all, the interior of it is one of the sexiest interiors uh, in game, right? It's uh, classified as a luxury exploration ship. So it is sexy. Uh, it's one of my favorite ships. And the interior is a lot like this one. So if you like the, the cockpit of this ship, the Constellation yeah. series is very similar to this. So the RSI Constellations and the Anvil Carrick are two of my favorite. Well, Anvil, I really like the, the cockpits of the Anvils. Uh, so I own a lot of Anvil shit. Uh, let's see. So... The choice is yours. You have the luxury ship, which, oh, excuse me, that kind of crept up on me. But if you're looking for, like, role play, exploration, that's the ship that you want. There's a, there's a snub-nosed fighter that's already attached to the ship that's in the back that detaches. Uh, they fixed it so you can actually detach it and reattach it. You might have to dick around with it a little bit to... Get it to work properly, uh, but it does work now. Uh, you it has a a cargo bay, so you can actually buy uh, Ursa rover and put the Ursa rover inside of it. Uh, oh damn! All right, let's let's go with that one then. Yeah, logically that off. just just makes sense logically especially when i worded it the way i fucking worded it. it was like yeah why don't you just put the gun to my head why don't you fuck yeah that one's exponentially uh more expensive oh damn yeah i appreciate it that's yeah it's like three times the price of what i was originally gonna buy uh the cutter red uh it's like 1.3 mil uh, right, and the Phoenix is five seven, so six mil. Jesus, but it's so fucking worth it, bro. If your nipples don't get hard exploring this ship, nothing in this game will. 
Yo, why is this so fucking wonky? Land. Thank you. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's go buy us some fucking ships. All right. Let's, uh... Let's see if we can use the secondary elevator. Uh, as soon as I get onto the, the elevator here, I'm going to go right, you go left. You right. Yeah, this is the elevator right here, so. Oh, I got to back up. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to go left, I'm going to go right. All right. Oh, over there. Perfect. Yeah, you, uh. You want to be careful on these fucking things. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. Aw, oh, damn. I ain't even got a helmet on. Fucking up. Whatever. On the Dread Pirate Roberts, I don't get back. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. That's enough of the mouse for a minute. All right. Let's uh go put this big bitch away. Validate your... Uh, your stuffs. All right. Yeah, see, this one has a big ass hanger sign right on the front. Hanger four. Gee, I, yeah. 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 Why well, couldn't the other one? Yeah. All right. Are you over here? Yeah. yeah. Per perfect. Hmm. All right. Oh, get in the hole. Thank you. Oh. Ah. What? Oh, uh, it just came up and said you left the channel or something. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you uh, you left my ship. Oh, okay, hold on. I got to open the door. It, uh, yeah, it. you're fine. Yeah, it's a little bit laggy right here. Yeah. All right. Perfect. All right, so now let's go over here. Let me put my ship away so nobody steals it. And then I'll look at your screen real quick. Yeah, do I just share my screen on Discord? No. Nah. Okay. No, you see, come over here. You see, you see my screen. Oh yeah. yeah. Right, I can literally see. You can see how many ships I have. Look at the, look at them all. Damn. Yeah, I don't. There's mine. Brake cutter. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, oh, I, thought, I thought, yeah. Okay, so that that this is yours right here. Yeah. Brake cutter. All right. All right. Well, that was validated. That was easy. <laughs> All right. So let's put my shit away like I should have did before. But as soon as you said something about Drake Cutter, I went to look. All right. So this is Lorville. She is one luggy, laggy bitch. Uh, but I just moved out of Ark. Corp, which is where you're going to be moving to, uh, which is kind of Bobville. Uh, it's oh, just follow me. I, I'm drunk. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Um, which is Bobville, right? That's where you go to learn the game, right? Uh, a lot of PVPers ain't going to go over there. A lot of pirates ain't going to go over there. You might run into some idiot. Uh, that's about it for the majority. Um, so that's where you're going to go to learn to fly. Uh, it's going to take you probably about two weeks to get the basics down, depending on how many hours a day uh, you want to invest. If you follow me, uh, we're going to go down. And uh, this right here is the Phoenix. Which I'm actually kind of surprised that they actually have it out. But if you come over here, you could actually go up in the Phoenix and look around before... Making this bitch your your 
because you're about to buy this motherfucker right here for six million. So yeah, the elevator is hanging down on the floor right there. I'm gonna go take a piss while you're uh, exploring this, right? So <clears throat> remember, uh, this is one of your potential buys. You know, so while you're exploring it out, and there's a hidden compartment in the back to go down to the other uh, hangar. You can, yep, there you go. Um, if you can't find it, when I come back, I'll, I'll show you the, the hidden hangar. But there's a P-52 Marlin in the back, too. So if you go all the way in the back, you'll find the Marlin. Don't try to go in it. You might not be able to get out because you're in port. I'll be right back. Yeah. All right, I'm back. Oh, welcome back. I think I found the secret hanger uh, on the floor. Yeah, that's it. That is sick. I'm just coming up from it. Man. That is awesome. Yeah, this ship's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah. So I made the nip nips hard, huh? Oh yeah. Dude, this is freaking. Yeah, there's uh four different variations of this particular ship. This is the luxury variant. So the other three variants don't look like this on the inside. And out of all the variants, this is the most expensive, uh, sitting just under six mil. Okay. Damn. Which six mil in this game is a pretty decent investment. So I own your ass for a little while. That's fine. <laughs> He's like, whatever, it's sold. <laughs> I just got to figure out. Go back up to the front. Go back up to the front. Oh, wait, you're down in the hangar? No, no, I'm up now, like, up at the cockpit. Basically. Yeah, it's in the floor. Yeah, so uh, go back into the next room where the, the beds yeah. and shit are, and then it's in the floor. You might have to turn your hat on by hitting T. Turn yeah, in. I see it here. I'm standing. There we go. Yeah, it's an airlock too, so you don't have to worry about when it's deployed. Right. Sorry, I took a fat rip. Mm. All good. So oh, sounds like you are too. Yeah. Yeah.
Okay, so I'm not promoting anything you you do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so what do you think? I think this is crazy. I like it. Not bad for fucking day one in the goddamn game, huh? Less than an hour. Well, maybe an hour now, but... <laughs> All right, let's get this set up. <laughs> so first things first, I got to transfer you six fucking million dollars. Done. We got... So where the fuck is six? Six... One, two, three, one, two, three, six million. And send, motherfucker. Damn. All right. So now, did you receive it? I think so. It did pop up and tell me that I did. All right. Hit F1. All right. And F1 did nothing. What? Oh, hold on. The pit, that pit menu? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, here we go. All right. Oh, yeah, I've got down in current balance $6,133,037. Uh, right. Where's the fucking door now? Come on, up here. Right. Oh, okay, yeah. We're going to go left up here. <laughs> yeah, this is another uh, good pay loop up here. All right, somebody's at the terminal already. So you just got to wait for them. Uh, while you're dicking around, go explore that big ship right here, the prospector. That's the other uh, loop right there. Yeah, that one. I don't, I don't like that that particular play style. Uh, the mining, uh, the Argo Mole is much better, uh, but that's a that's a two person ship. Yeah, enjoy it, laggy so. Yeah. But for the bang, for the bang though, uh, for the amount of money that that is, I think that's relatively cheap. But it's almost the same size as the Phoenix, the one you're buying. The interior is nowhere near as big, obviously. It's just a little, little workship. Yeah, it's, uh, I was going to say it's very small. Yeah. I didn't say we we're going to buy it. I just said go look at it while this douche over here is dicking around when I'm the terminal. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. Oh. Oh, so you got the Drake Cutter. You didn't even get the hundred eye. All right. Yeah, you got the cutter. The cutter is the one that looks like the small Mandalorian ship. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Now, before you buy uh, the Phoenix, look at the Drake Cutlass Red. Well, as soon as, well obviously, as soon as this douchebag gets off the terminal. Oh, he's off. All right, so a Drake. The first one's Drake. So you're looking for the manufacturer on the left hand side, Drake. Oh, okay. And then you're looking for the ship under Drake, which would be the Cutlass Red. That was the other ship I'm willing. Yeah, that's the other ship I was willing to buy. Oh yeah. Damn. I think the. Uh... Yes. The other one's definitely... Yes. So, the other one is RSI all the way down at the bottom. All right. Constellation Phoenix. So, the very first one. Yeah, make sure it's the Phoenix. It's not the Aquila, the Taurus, or the Andromeda. It's the Constellation Phoenix. Yeah. Okay. Buy, buy that. All right. Purchase. Make mm -hmm. sure. Confirm purchase. Now, oh, uh, what? Oh, no. It just it went through. 
Okay. Um, now go back in and go to RSI and see if you can buy the URSA. U-R-S-A. It's a ground vehicle. Okay. RSI. Oh, URSA. U-R-S-A. Okay, yeah. I see it here. Buy it. Shit. And purchase. All right. Purchase. All right. Well, normally at this point in time, I would have you call in your ship so you could go and explore your new baby. But considering the fact that you just did that literally right over there, yeah. we could go to phase two, which is getting your quantum drive, right. making it go zoom, zoom. Hell yeah. Damn. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm actually gonna. I'm at Lorville. <laughs> I forgot. I got toys. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. You've seen. Oh, where are we going? We're going. No, nah, alright. So if we're going over there, let's go in style. It's going style. Where's my sexy bitch? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. El Sexio. Hangar 5. So this bitch is, uh... Yeah. This is a $10 million ship. Oh, jeez. Worth every fucking penny. Well, the one that I flew you out here in, that was, what, 27 mil? Yeah. Damn. What did I say? Hang of five. Yeah. This is one of my favorite ships right here. Well, all the ships that I got, I, I love every ship, uh, but for different reasons. Uh, you know, every ship is a little bit different. This one right here is... Uh, the luxury version of the big ship that I flew you here. And so if you want to get away, you know, and just kind of be by yourself, this is the ship to, to call. One of them. Yeah. It doesn't have a medical bed on it, but uh, they're doing an upgrade to it here shortly. So there will be a med bed uh, incorporated soon. Right All right, so yeah, this is uh, one of my role play ships, right? So when I have people like yourself, this is the ship that I'll be bringing. Back here is uh, the crew quarters, right? So you have all the crew beds. There's bathrooms in the back. Look how sexy this is. Damn. Right? So there's uh, back here, there's uh, an armory. Shower, toilets, escape pods, right? Holy crap. Yeah, this is, yeah. <laughs> Let me come back out this way. Uh, we come back through here. We go through the hangar here. <laughs> go up to the uh, master bedroom. Like the captain's quarters. All right, it gives you a beautiful bird's eye view or whatever's in front yeah it's fucking sexy ain't it you got a hidden yeah. bathroom right over here in the corner I mean, you wouldn't even know it's there All right, you come out here now we go up the elevator same thing that's the elevator right there I'm gonna go up towards the terminal you go the opposite way you don't wanna rub on these bitches alright okay. so I I'm glitched out. Cool. Oh shit! Hold on, hold on. Stay out there. All right. <laughs> All right. Where are you? I'm like stuck between levels of the ship. Ooh. Yeah. 
Yeah, like it's all black. I can see. Yeah, can you went see. too far. Yeah. Shit. Oh. oh, am I out of it? No. Yeah, you just went past me. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You might have to re-log real quick. All right. Did that push you out? No. All right. Let me see. Yeah, I see you running around. Okay, so just hit escape and uh, exit. Because it should put you... Yeah, exit to menu. Yep. Okay. And then come back. Join leader up in the uh, corner. Okay. And then come back to... Yeah, I should put you back in the easy hab, so you have to run through it. But you're on a space station, so there's no fucking trains, planes, and automobiles. Straight shot. Back to the hangar. Right? Where are we? Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. We're in Lorville. Oh, God damn it. Well, is he going to put me back where we started? Uh, nope. Nope. Mm, maybe. I don't know. They maybe should have put you back in Lorville. So pull up your Moby glass and then go to the fourth icon to the right. That's your thing. And then kind of use your mouse to zoom in. Uh, let me see. I'm going to zoom in on Hurston. Yeah, I think I see your name over here in Hurston. Yeah, you're over here in Hurston. Okay. Yeah, it still sucks though because we're in Lorville. All right, so maybe I won't use the 600i. All right. You got to basically get to the train station. Uh, and it's not a direct shot. Okay. I'll get there. Yeah, I'm on my way back. I'm going to go put the uh, 600i back away. Oh, I got a notification too. Yeah. You want to take the elevator down uh, to the first floor, and then you're going to uh, run out the front of the building and let me think. Uh, you're going to hug the right, if I'm not mistaken. Basically, you got to get on a fucking train and come here. But if you stay there, I could come and I could come and get you. Uh, I did just call the elevator. Um, All right, yeah, just stay there. Go down to the bottom and work your way out to the front of the building. And I'll. Uh... What did I have? Oh, the six hundred. Six hundred I. There we yeah. go. Now, do you need to drink something? Do you have anything yeah, in your... You're in, in Lorville, I don't have anything. All right, that's fine. Uh, there should be a merchant right around where you're at. But I'm on my way to you right now, so just be patient. I'm coming. Yeah, no problem. Uh... I do got to remember. Oh, yeah, we could go to the Casablanca clothing outlet for bulk drinks. All right. It's the green line. Do I want to go this way? Yeah, Metro Center. Oh, I'm an idiot. I could have probably just logged out while the train's here. Logged out, logged in, and I would have been right next to you. Womp, womp, womp. Oh, well. At least you're out of the damn ship. 
oh, I'm an extra idiot. I could have just went outside too and just put my ship away. Oh, no, because then I don't know what it would have did to you because the hangar wouldn't have been utilized. Yeah. I don't know if it would have just spit you out and dropped you on the floor. Oh, no, yeah, no, because I could go to the hangars at any time. Yeah. It would probably would have just spit you out of the ship and dropped you on the floor. It's always great that I think of these things after the fact. Why couldn't I think of this a couple minutes ago? The things we do for video game pleasure. <laughs> you there? Uh oh. Yeah, sorry, just give me one quick second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to make sure I didn't lose you. Like, oh my god, another glitch? What happened? Huh. Is that you? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I was just talking to my wife for a minute. Oh, no, I just wanted to make sure that was you that's running around. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm the only fucking idiot with long silver hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's fucking laggy ass shit. All right, so Casablanca's or whatever the fuck it's called should be right around here somewhere. Uh, you know what? Fuck that. We'll just get the carrot and get the hell out of here. We don't waste any more time. Uh, because the carrot has the med bed on it. I'm stuck in a lag spike. There we go. Yeah, it's either that or uh, I use the Drake Cuddy. Oh, you know what? Yeah, no, fuck that. Uh, that'll actually be quicker in Orison. Yeah, so we'll go fly uh, the ship you didn't buy. So you could actually see what you could have had. Might have to wait a couple minutes to call it in, but it'll only be five minutes tops. Yeah, no worry. <sighs> nah, the uh, the Phoenix, bro, uh, is by far. All right, so I have three ultimate favorite ships in this game. The Phoenix is one. The Anvil Carrick, which is the one I picked you up in, is two. And the Anvil Valkyrie is three. I mean, you could put the Drake Cuddy Red as four. Now, the only reason why that would be included into it is not necessarily because I like the ship itself. But I do like the functionality and the practicality of having a med bed on hand. And it's very fast and nimble. So you can get in and out of locations really quick. But... Because it's so small, uh, wind will literally pick it up and throw it around if you're not careful. Uh, so, yeah. But it is, a, it is a, you know, it's a practical ship depending on what you're utilizing it for. Um, that's why I was so adamant in asking you what's your play style before deciding anything else because if you're a pvp or then obviously this ship that you just spent six fucking million on will be a waste of time right they'll just be sitting in your fucking hangar collecting space dust yeah <laughs> and yeah no pvp is kind of last on my uh, yeah those 
yeah, there's a lot of other shit that you need to learn first for real. I, I'm two months into the game and I'm still not even focusing on PvP. So, yeah. If somebody drops something over here. I would probably don't even waste their time with it. If you could drop it in local inventory by facing your ass at it. Yeah. So you walk past, yeah. Walk past it. No, walk away from it. Yeah. You want to be, look, look, so look at me. Yeah, perfect. Now go into inventory. No, no, no. Stay like that. Yeah, yeah. So if you walk past it, like say over here, and then you go into inventory, you'll see it behind you. You could just drag and drop it right into your inventory. It doesn't matter where, but the distance with your ass to it. Nah, you want to put your ass okay. to it. Yeah. I just, I just grabbed and dragged it. Yeah. It's in my inventory now. Yeah, if it's just a gay white one, drag it and drop it back on the fucking floor. You're gonna get so many of those gay white ones that it's not. It's not practical having extras. You're gonna get so much yeah. shit, uh, in the game already. Alright. So, oh, I'm at the terminals. I'm calling in oh. a ship. I'm trying to determine what ship. Well, the yeah, I'm gonna just call the fucking Cuddy Red. Yeah, I got a call. Are these people standing around real players? Hold on. Uh, some of them. Okay. Thank you. Uh, some of them. So the ones up in the back, those are all NPCs. So up on that sub deck up there, those look like all NPCs. Uh, in the main corridor that we're standing in, I don't see any real players at the moment. There's no way to really just distinguish um, the NPCs from real players besides the armors uh, that they're wearing and most players will be running all the time. They wouldn't be standing still. So if you're in a room like this, you can just kind of look around. Most of the NPCs will be wearing normal-ish clothes while players will be wearing shit like me and you know. So it's kind of they kind of stand out like sore thumbs. That's what I'm trying. There is security guards though that does have armor uh but usually they're like the ones like if you go down this hallway down here there's probably a couple of them. yeah there's one standing right there as a matter of fact look right here there's these yeah. type heavy heavies we call these heavies because of the chest piece that he's got that's a heavy chest piece so if somebody says oh well his whole armor set's heavy so, yeah, if somebody says, take, like, you're doing a bunker run, someone says, take out a heavy, you're looking for armor like that, real bulky. I'm wearing a mix of two different armors. I'm wearing light armor and medium armor. Light, okay. light armor on the legs uh, so you can run faster. And then medium armor on the chest and arms and then heavy armor on the head. Okay. Yeah, well, that's my my thing. That's uh, coming from like MMOs. You know, I play, like I said, I play a lot of used to play a lot of Elder Scrolls online. So character builds is my thing. But having light and medium leg armor in this game allows you to run faster. Does it provide more protection? I mean, on paper it does. But in practicality, if you're going to go down, you're going to go down regardless of what armor you're wearing. Right. So we're waiting on the Cuddy Red to spawn. It should have about three minutes. Actually, let me go look. There's a vending machine up here. I'm just going to grab something. Oh, yeah. Down the hall. No, no, no. Come down. I think it's up that hall. This hallway up here. There should be a taco bar or some bullshit back here. No. I could have sworn it was fucking. Well, just waiting for the Cuddy Red. Because as soon as the Cuddy Red's here, there's a there's a med bed. The those stations, uh, they don't work. Those uh those drinks. Uh -huh. Um, 
Uh, we could go here. Let's go up here because we do have a, a minute or two to kill. So we could go up towards New Deal where we bought your ship at and see if there's a little vendor out here. Sometimes, no. Nah. Sometimes there might be a vendor out here on the platforms. No, nah, I'm not. I'm not seeing one. Yeah, screw it. Just waiting for the Cuddy Red. Because like I said, there's yeah. there's med beds on there that you could rehydrate. This is why I uh, wanted to buy you the, sh the Cuddy Red is for this ex this exact reason. No oh, shit, I need I need a drink. Oh well, let me just call my ship and jump on a bed real quick. Fuck that. Now I just bought myself mm -hmm. another hour of you know gameplay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. We have. All right. I'm going to also cut the video here recording because I did what I wanted to do. All right, so we got 30 seconds. Yeah, let me uh, cancel that because I did what I wanted to do. I bought you your ship. Thank you. Yeah, that was amazing. 